Hello guys, this is Ali Solanki and today we'll be talking about all the tools and techniques that I'll be using in 2023 in order to stay productive. I'll be sharing all of my secrets with you guys so make sure to watch this video till the end. So let's start with the video. Okay, so in this video, I will be talking about top 7 productivity tools that I'm using in 2023 in order to stay productive and all of the techniques that I'll be using along with it. These are some of my top things that help me stay productive and get my work done. But before I get into the tools and techniques and all those things, let me first talk about the basics of productivity. When it comes to productivity, the main reason why you aren't is because of distractions and lack of goal. Now, how do you deal with these two problems? The first one, which is distractions. If you want to solve distractions, you need to minimize it, right? So for example, just look around you. What are your major distractions at this point, which is stopping you from doing what you should be doing? For me personally, it was my phone, right? I used to use my phone almost every day. And uh, this got to a point wherein I was using my phone for over 15 hours a day. Just do this one exercise. Take your phone and just go on to digital well-being. If you don't have digital well-being on your phone and if you're using iPhone, there might be some other things over there, right? So just check your screen time and see which apps are you spending the most time on. If you just take this one small step, you'd be ahead of most of the other people. The second thing is setting goals. Now these goals need not be your long-term goals. You need to set tasks for each and every day. You should know what is the thing that you need to do. One thing that I do in order to keep defined goals for each of my days is make a to-do list. Now you've heard a ton of times that, okay, to-do lists work and you need to make a to-do list. You can use these tools for it. But over here, what I want to talk about is my experience with it. Now, whenever you're making a to-do list, make sure you do not list out every single thing. You need to be as brief as possible just put in say five to six words that's it and do not fill the entire task list with tens and hundreds of tasks that you need to do in one day make sure you're being realistic and only put say five tasks per day so what i do with my task list is uh, basically i have this particular widget which is by google itself so if you add in all of your tasks on google tasks you can get this widget on your phone and this can be on your front page so that you are reminded of all of your tasks that you need to do for your day. Once you keep on completing these tasks, you can just tick them off and it will just go away from the task list. So every day I need to manage a lot of tasks and time management becomes very, very crucial for me. If you want to know about my tasks and what I do during the day, where do I generate income from? You can watch this particular video. It would be there at the I button. And over there, I have talked about my 11 different sources of income. So you can go check that video out. The next one is Notion. Now I use Notion specifically for my YouTube videos. There are a lot of videos that I've been posting over the months and because of that I need to manage each of these uploads and recordings and editing and everything right so in order to manage all of these things I use notion for it over there you can create your own Kanban table now Kanban is nothing but a small table where you can just add all of your task lists and you can then switch them over from one place to other so over here all of my tasks are divided into ideas good ideas scripted recorded edited and then published right so so all of these columns then have their own elements in the form of video ideas, right? So any video idea that I get, it goes right from idea to being a good idea, selected idea. Then it goes on to being recorded, edited, and then we then publish it on the YouTube page for you guys to see. So this really helps me in understanding and seeing an entire overview of my YouTube channel. And if there are any new videos that I need to record, if there are videos that have already been recorded and edited and just need to be published. So that is how I manage my YouTube using Notion. The second is Gmail. So in Gmail, I don't know if you already know this, but Gmail provides you with labels. So if you're a student or even a person who is running a business, it really becomes important to have your own labels. So after watching this video, make sure to create your own custom labels because over there you can then segregate all of your 
emails into say for example if you're a student and have some submissions to attend to then you can put in a label for submissions right maybe if you're running your own startup and you have certain potential clients then you can create your own custom label called as clients or potential clients right so doing just this one thing will help you in organizing all of your mails and you will never have to just think about when was this last mail sent or just search through all of your mails in order to find that one email address of your potential client or maybe of one submission that you needed to do. Now another thing that I wanted to talk about is Calendly. If you don't use Calendly already, make sure to use it. Now what is Calendly? So Calendly provides you with a specific link which you can share with others so that they can book a slot in your calendar. Yeah, how cool is that? So over in my description, there would be a Calendly link from where you can book a 15 minute slot with me and uh, that would directly come on my Google Calendar. This way I can schedule any important or urgent meetings that I need to attend to and this way I can also see all of my meetings on my Google Calendar directly. The next one is ad blockers. Now ad blockers basically help you in removing all the ads from any web page that you visit. So say for example you're watching this particular YouTube video right if you're watching this on your laptop or somewhere else then you can install the ad blocker chrome extension it would be down in my description box below and over there it would block all the ads that you're seeing in this video as well so even though my revenue would go down if you guys start using ad blockers because you won't see any ads from which I earn money I still think that ad blockers would help you guys a lot to save up time on any of the websites that you visit so just make sure to not add my YouTube channel in the ad blocker section because yeah. Next up is Google Calendar. Now I use Google Calendar a lot when it comes to maintaining productivity and getting my tasks done. Here I would specifically be talking about how I use Google Calendar to maximize my productivity and how you can do the same. Now when you add tasks or events in your Google Calendar, make sure to add spaces in between. Those gaps are really, really important. For example, today I wanted to record this video. Now as you can see, this is a different background than the rest of the video. The reason for that is because this segment was not recorded properly and I wanted to re-record it. If I hadn't kept gaps in between my tasks, I would never be able to complete this because my entire week schedule is already planned. So that is why whenever you make your timetable or whenever you add tasks on your Google Calendar, make sure to add gaps between them. Make sure to never have back-to-back -back events. So these were my top picks for all the tools and techniques. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel and if you find anything useful or if you know of any other productivity tools let me know in the comment section below i've seen almost like 10 to 20 videos on productivity when i was researching about these things so let me know in the comment section below if there are any new tools that you have come across i'll be using all of these tools and the tools that you'll be recommending in the comment section in order to complete my new year's resolution to stay focused on my new year's resolution if you haven't watched my video on that then go check it out it's there on my channel so Bye-bye and see you in the next video.